Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPad app demo for Photo Slideshow Director HD by Shenzhen Sakisoft Company. This application is in the photography category and works on an iPad or iPad 2. Currently sells for $2.99. There's also an iPhone iPod Touch version called Slideshow Plus that sells for $1.99. This application allows you to quickly and easily create great quality photo slideshows and music videos that can be uploaded to YouTube or Facebook as well as played on an HD TV and more. Here is the queue that the application opens up to to my projects. I have three currently. It focuses in on my project number two. Down here at the bottom, if I press delete, it'll delete my project. It'll give me a chance to, you know, to cancel. But you can delete your projects here. You can play them. And cool enough, you can export them. And you can see that you can play your slideshow on the iPad as we're going to. Also on an HD TV, as long as you have the correct cables that you can get from Apple to connect your iPad to your HD TV. You can also share the movie to your photo library for other purposes like through email, what have you, or you can upload it to YouTube and Facebook and share with your friends, family, and subscribers. Let's tap off of here and we'll play slideshow number two. It starts off with my dog Duke to a little bit of Blondie. The transitions are automatically added in on this, uh, this slideshow. It took me maybe a minute to make this slideshow, maybe a minute and a half. Again, the transitions were auto trans transitions. I added the pictures and the music and that was all I did and I can share this with whoever I want. I did it on Facebook and it took me a matter of minutes. We can exit out of there and now I'll show you how to create your own slideshow. Tap on the new button on the far left on the bottom and we'll go with a slideshow. The biggest difference between slideshow and music video is the music video will synchronize your photos to the music. Now, once you open up the creation of your project, you're going to see a navigation pane in the middle over to, or on the far left side, I should say, in the middle approximately. Then here's where you're going to add your photos, your music. You can actually add a theme that they have created for you on how this presents and some, um, some characteristics. It's real, there's a lot here, so you can explore through those. We're going to leave it on colorful blur. You also have web albums where you can import photos from. I am signed into Facebook. I can tap on there, and it'll pull in all of my Facebook photo albums, and I could access the photos that way. Go back out of there, and then we have an ability to add a blank screen. You can also do some pan and zoom effects here. You can add text to your blank screen, and so on. Let's just go in here and make it real easy. We'll go to photos, go to my photo camera stream here, or photo stream here, and we'll pick some photos quickly. We'll do a crazy mic, tap on there, tap a couple of crazy mics heads, and we'll do one more jolly jolly there. And then once we're done with that, we can add some music. Um, I have some artists in here. I'm going to have to stick with the black eyed peas and we'll do boom boom pow. That's it. Now, we got a couple of other things that we can do here. Again, you have your theme that you can pick and you can read through there. There are a whole bunch to choose from. Again, I'm going to leave it on colorful blur. You have, again, your images from Facebook and so on. We're not going to use any of those. We'll leave it there. Now, there's some more you can do once you put your photos in here and your music. You can actually tap on the upper left of any image to move it down, this, down to wherever you want it, down to the end. I can move it all the way down to the end, slide, and then once I'm done, I can slide back and see that it was in fact moved. You can do some other things as well. Tap on there to set as start, set as end, and so on. And you can also trash the picture if you want to delete it. Now you have the die in the middle of all your, or in between all your images, tap on there, and you're going to pull up a transition menu, which has an extensive amount of transitions. The die will play a random transition. There are a variety of 3D transitions, color blends, slices, and boxes, and then the various masks are really, really cool, and there are a lot of them. You can see we all the way down to 49 different transitions on the mask. So we could go ahead and trick these out and tap these. We'll do a variety of them and see what we get. We'll do a little bit of each and we'll tap there. Now that we have our slideshow, we can go back here to the very first screen, tap on play, and it's going to start our slideshow. I did that in less than, what, 30 or 40 seconds? If I wasn't explaining, I could have done this in about 20 seconds. Gotta get dip, 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 dip.
Gotta get that. Gotta get. So at that point, I've already created this. Now again, I have a share feature here. I can share this from here just like I could from my Project Q. There's some other buttons here. You can put this in full screen mode, tap off of there, go back, and then you also have your music and slideshow synchronization. Now, up here in the far right, you have some settings. Again, you can have this repeat at the end or don't have it repeat at the end, and you can also enable 1080p. So that's it for this iPad app demo. Again, this is a very nice app to make your own slideshows with your photos or music videos. Until next time, this is Crazy Mike saying see ya.